So this is video two, solving absolute value equations. But this, this time on this section, we are writing the absolute value equation given the solutions on a number line. So let me first draw a number line. And ladies and gentlemen, what if my answers were negative three and positive three? What kind of absolute value equation would give me the, those answers? This would be a, the absolute value of x equals three, right? Because when you do the positive situation and the negative situation, you're gonna get positive and negative three. You guys agree with that? So that's really easy, right? Um, let's go for something a little more challenging. So let's say our answers were negative six and negative two. So right here, it gets a little more complicated. Let me tell you how to, how to do the setup here. This is what I want you to set up. Let's do some giant absolute value signs with the X minus right in there and a blank spot and then equals blank spot. Now inside here, we're gonna do X minus the midpoint. But what the heck does that mean, midpoint? What does midpoint mean? The point in the middle, right? Okay, so if you're here, and here, what would the point in the middle be? It would be this uh, minus four, that's your midpoint, right? Okay, and on this side, so, so far our equation that's gonna give us those two answers, so far it's gonna be the absolute value of x minus uh, negative four, because that's a midpoint. Let me do that in blue actually, negative four. Okay, the absolute value of x minus a negative four equals, now over here on the answer position, the way we set this up, it would be the distance, the distance from that point to the midpoint, or the distance from any point to the midpoint. I shouldn't say any, I should say from the point to the midpoint. I hope you guys understand my handwriting here. So it's gonna be the absolute value of x minus the midpoint, the point in the middle, equals the distance from the point to the midpoint. So this point and this point, to find the midpoint, you go one in, one in, one in, one in. So this is your midpoint, obviously. And this number over here, this number over here will be the distance from the point to the midpoint. So how far is it from any point to the midpoint? It's two units in this case. So it's going to be x minus minus 4 equals 2. So that's my equation that will produce the answers negative 6 and negative 2. So to make it a little bit nicer, I would say x plus 4 inside absolute values equals 2. That's my equation that gives me those answers. So I did give you guys this little slip of paper. So go ahead and fill it in the way I just filled it in right here. How do you set this up? Well, x minus the midpoint inside the absolute values equals the distance from a point to the midpoint. So we have these two, these two values, negative two and six. And if you go one in, one in, another one, another one, you'll get to the midpoint, which is two. So two is what goes in there, x minus the midpoint, x minus two. And then we have the distance from a point to the midpoint. And it doesn't matter if you pick this one or this one, it's still gonna be one, two, three, four units. So this answer is gonna be four. So there's my equation that if I actually solved it doing the positive and the negative situation would give me these two values on a number line. Does that make sense? So we are gonna have to use uh, these notes on this part of our, on our homework on the final part. So we have two answers there, negative five and negative one. So what would the midpoint of these, of these two points be? What would the midpoint be? Negative three. So that's one thing to do to identify the midpoint. I would even go like this and put maybe MP right there so you know that's your midpoint. And the setup, remember the setup is absolute value X minus, and what is our midpoint? We just said it's negative three. Close the absolute value equals, and it equals what? The distance from the point to the midpoint. So what is the distance from this point to the midpoint? Two, and that's it. The only other thing you could do to write down number 12 nicer would be to make it x plus 3 equals 2. Because obviously the minus minus changes the plus plus. Okay? Let's jump and do number 14. Check it out, number 14. So once again, you have to identify the midpoint. Here's one point, here's the other point. So what's the point in the middle? One, one, another one, another one. Zero. Going right there. Zero. Okay, so that one's easy. 
because your midpoint's zero. So when you set it up, it's the absolute value of x minus the midpoint. What's the midpoint? Zero. zero. And then close the absolute value, and it's going to equal the distance from one of these points to the, to the midpoint zero. So one, two, three, four. So what's the answer out here? Four. Or I could just write it x and the Absolutely. So the better answer would be to not even put that midpoint of zero. It would just be the absolute value of x equals four. This is the absolute value equation that will give you both answers, uh, negative four and positive four. Let's try one more just for fun over here. Let's go to, to number 13, okay? So number 13, I wanna set up my equation. It's gonna be the absolute values of x minus the midpoint. What's the midpoint, guys? Four in this case, equals the distance from a point to the midpoint. So if this is the midpoint, what's the distance from this point to the midpoint? One. One. So you put one right there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your equation that'll produce those answers of three and five. Make sense? Okay. Uh, would you guys like me to go back and explain any other of these up here? Maybe, uh, how about number 10? So if you want to solve that equation, okay, I don't have a number line. I, I, want, I need to set it up to find my answers. What do I do? Negative. The positive and the negative situation. So everybody should set that up. Now remember, the positive situation is writing it exactly the way it is without the absolute values. K minus 5 equals 4. The negative situation is the same exact thing, but all we're going to do is change the sign of the 4. Again, the negative situation, everything's the same. I didn't change the sign of the K. I didn't change the minus 5 to a plus 5. Everything stayed the same. The only thing that does change is the right side. The 4 becomes a negative 4. So now I have both of those equations. Let's solve both of them. So on the left side, um, I want to go plus 5 cancels, plus 5. You're going to have k equals 9. And the other one, add 5, add 5. Uh, that's like you owe $4, you have $5. k equals 1. So those are your two answers for number 10. And if at any point you have extra time, take that 9, plug it in. 9 take away 5 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is equal to 4. Take 1, plug it in. 1 take away 5 is negative 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. So you could double check any of these to make sure you have the correct answers. Now, right here, I mean, I'm not going to ask you to do this on the test, but on the worksheet, they do ask you to plot your answers. So they want you to put the 9 right there and the 1 right there. So I'm all over the place on this video. Let's jump back to the beginning. This is not equations, this is just plugging in and working out. So uh, let's try, we already did four. If we did two, let's do number two. So I would start out by rewriting everything, but I would, instead of B, plug in the value of B, which happens to be negative three. So let's work it out. This is not an equation, we're just gonna work this out. What is negative 3 plus 1? Negative 2, guys. And then you have the plus 8. And of course, the absolute value of negative 2, that is 2. So you really do have a 2 plus the outside 8. So 2 plus 8 is 10. Those are easy, right? There's going to be like three or four of those on the quiz Friday. Um, How about number six? You want to solve it? You're going to do the positive and the negative situation. So for the positive situation, write it exactly the way it is. C minus three equals one. For the negative situation, write it exactly the way it is. C minus three, but change the sign of the one to a negative one. And then solve both. Plus three, plus three. C equals four. That's an answer. Plus three plus three, C equals two, that's an answer. And they do want you to plot the four and the two right there on the number line. I'm not gonna ask you to plot your answers, but the reason why the worksheet's doing it is so you could get used to those number lines. 
That way when you're down here at the number line and you want to come up with the equation, uh, you're able to uh, feel more comfortable with it. But remember, for this uh, part, you need a, to know that setup. And what's the setup? Like I said, I'm all, all over the place on this video. The setup is x minus, right here belongs the midpoint, and then equals, and over here belongs the distance from the point to the midpoint. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what's my equation going to be on this one? This one's so easy because the midpoint's zero, so there is going to be no number in here. It's just going to be the absolute value of x. It's just going to be the absolute value of x because x minus zero is still x equals the distance from the point to the midpoint. What's the distance from a point to the midpoint? One. One. Thank you. So there's my equation, the absolute value of x equals one.